Hello, hello, mom and dad new world. So oh, this is going to be a little bit more of a two part video because uh, I can't really review one without reviewing the other. But uh, this right here, this is a Tamron. Uh, I don't necessarily know what model it is, but I know this is the 28 to 105 uh, variable aperture uh, F4 to 5.6 that you can see right here. And uh, we actually have been using this on a Sony body. Uh, this is the Sony a7 IV that we're actually recording on. Uh, we're actually not using this lens right here to record, but I wanted to talk about it because uh, this is actually hooked up. And you may ask, well, why are you using Canon glass on a Sony body? Well, if you've got a Sigma MC11 adapter, and I'm gonna just pull this off right here. So I'm gonna pull this back. This actually unmounts, and this is the adapter itself. Pull the back off. So this is what goes into the Sony body. This is what your Canon lens goes in, into. And I'm gonna put that on right here. So it's got the red mark and red mark. I'm gonna line those up, put those in together, and then just put the back right back here. But uh, so, this particular lens, this Tamron, has been quite, quite good. Uh, this Tamron 28 to 105 variable aperture f4 to 5.6, uh, very, very versatile. This 28 to 105 uh, works uh, completely fine. We are not using, um, not using any sort of zoom or anything uh, like clear image zoom on or recording Super 35 on the Sony. Um, this is just a, a full frame lens right here um, and it does absolutely just fine photos. It looks absolutely spectacular. Uh, for videos, you, you will have to tap a bit to tap like my face to get everything nice and focused. But for photos, I tell you what, well, we'll show some pictures here. It does a very, very clean job of taking any any uh, photos you do want. And with this being a 28 to 105, it's super duper versatile in range. And uh, it, they look really, really good. They look really, really clean. And even the weird part is uh, when you take this in raw, so when you take it in raw, it takes off all of the uh, distortion correction all the lens correction that, that it applies to when you see the jpeg but in raw uh, the image looks uh, virtually identical minus the colors that that it is in jpeg so you don't see you don't see uh like the image and the vignetting you don't see some weird uh weird shapes in the corner or in the middle it's not convex or concave or anything strange like that there are even our sony lenses i know our sony 28 millimeter f2 which is what i shoot a lot on uh, when i take images uh in raw uh, from JPEG to RAW, I see that image move itself uh, because there's a lot of lens correction the camera does do in body. But with this particular lens and the Sony or and the Canon 70 to 200, uh, it's actually been very very good with lens distortion. It's excellent for that actually. So this right here, I do got to say. Uh, we actually, I think we might have picked this up at a thrift store for less than five dollars. Um, I just knew, I looked it up, you could use it on a Canon full frame, and we did. And uh, combined with this Sigma MC11 adapter, this has just been a phenomenal one-two combo. So if you're looking for more inexpensive glass, but still very good quality glass in my opinion to use with your uh, Sony mirrorless body like your Sony a7 IV or your a6700, your a7R4, your R5 or whatever, whatever body you may have. Um, I do recommend the Sigma MC11 adapter with some good quality Canon glass. Hello, hello. So this is a video called to hear from the 28 to 105 Tamron. As you can see, hopefully it looks very, very good. Hopefully it looks to be in focus. So what I can tell you definitively is when you go into photo mode, uh, you have pressed the shutter, it will find focus on the eyes or focus on whatever you tap or touch on your touch screen. But when you actually go into video mode, 
and I am right here, it will not focus on me. You actually need to start in photo mode, then switch over to video mode, and then it should record in focus like hopefully I am in right now. And I've got my distance here, how far away I am from the table, make sure that is what I was at when I was focusing in photo mode. So hopefully it looks very, very good. Again, you're seeing this video from the Tamron 28 to 105 variable aperture. So let me know what you think of this for video specifically. If you found this video helpful, um, if you're like me, you're going to be looking for some more inexpensive Canon glass or inexpensive compatible Canon EF glass, then, uh, well, you... I'm sorry if I did that to you. That, that's all I can say. But if you like this video, you know what to do. Please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out our channel. And until next time, bye for now. Thanks for watching.